So you're still seeing the reverberations of uh, Shannon Sharp and Skip Bayless. It's still being expressed. Um, you know, boy, what a year makes, huh? How does Undisputed look now? Now, Paul Pierce is a good comedy relief. He's good. He ain't Shannon Sharp, but he's good. He's entertaining. But you need about two more of him to make the show to 75%. I like Paul Pierce a lot. I think Paul Pierce has got a, a great character, great theater for TV personality. However, Shannon Sharp is just really, sometimes, you know, it's like next level. It's 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 There's tears to this. Shannon Sharp is a modern day Charles Barkley in the sense of his way he's able to connect with the sports world. He's everything that they won't ever have again on Fox News. Now, I do like Wiles. Wiles is probably my favorite person on that network with Pierce, but I got Wiles ahead of, you know, a certain persona. You got to have a certain personality. You know, the days of a sports personality just being dumb jock and yeah, and beer and chips and yeah, yeah, is gone. It's more, but you got to have a humor. You got to have a certain way that you bring the audience in. My only problem with Shannon Sharp is that whole LeBron James slurp 7-Eleven big gulp thing. That gets sickening and tiring. But his humor, his crossover pill, you know, he be he do shuffle. And I have problems with the way he goes at it with certain things. But there's no denying his his commercial. When Stephen A. got him over to the ESPN plantation on first take, that was a slam dunk. That's a dub. That's a dub. Getting Shannon Sharp for so cheap is like when Dennis Rodman came to Chicago Bulls. You just know that that was like a dub. That is comical. But the problem that you see um, with this situation is that um, it's um, one-sided where Shan, uh, Skip Bayless ain't never recovered from it, and I don't feel sorry for him. He was arrogant, smug white boy who ran his mouth, ran off a guy who was willing to be a teammate to defer. He looked up and admired Skip. You don't hear too many people say that about Skip Bayless. And they were willing to be an understand. Willing to still would have been there right now if Skip had not have tried to downplay his significance. Obviously, when you talk about Tom Brady's success and career, you can debate Brady is the greatest quarterback ever. And you can say that. You can say arguably the greatest football player ever and one of the greatest winners in pro sports history, period. But to minimize Shannon Sharp's three Super Bowl wins as a Hall of Famer, and one of the greatest ever at his position was wrong. And it sounded like some massa that was like, do you know what you're talking about? And, you know, he was trying to just emasculate him. Now, we fast forward a year later. Club Shay Shay is bigger than it was before. The Cat Williams thing I ain't got to tell you about. I don't even be surprised if Shannon Sharp is able to land Kendrick Lamar on the couch or something. I mean, right now... Who wouldn't want to be on his couch talking? I mean, you know, now I have mixed emotions about it because I don't think he always has the most stimulating intellectualized people on there. I think they pretty much whatever. But hey, the dude is bringing in the bag. The ESPN plantation is happy. And he about to get the job that Stephen A. Smith had. Allegedly, because I don't think Stephen A. going to go get be resigned. I think he gone. So Shannon is about to win and win big. Getting them big W's. Meanwhile, Skip is in the toilet bowl. Paul Pearson got his head above water. But you stuck with Keyshawn Johnson and Richard Sherman. Rachel Nichols is I. Right. Little Wayne, no. That show be sunk. As Michael Ray Richardson once said, former New York Knicks guard, the ship be sunk. That ship then sunk. Without Paul Pierce, the donut has saved him afloat for a minute. But there's only so many topics. But they need about two more Paul Pierce's to make that show. And that's the difference. One Shannon Sharp represents the equivalent to two to three folks. Let that sink in. English translation. That's like having that it song if you're a singer or being with that it artist that brings in it and makes everybody look good. But when you stuck 
with second tier, third tier, you're only going to be good for a while. But there's a big gap. Shannon Sharp is winning. And Skip Bayless is holding his hair in place. Because he knows they could drop the boom on him at any moment. Even with Paul Pierce who saved him. Because without Paul Pierce, they would have pulled the plug on that show. But it may not be enough. The Shannon Sharp and these YouTube streams. When you're on social media these days and you got a show and it's successful. And you got that it and you vibrant. Oh, it travels like message in a bottle. Please like, subscribe, welcome thoughts, comments, and I do respond. Thank you. Wash your hands. Keep your mind clear. Watch out for another share if you like them out. Peace.